Welcome to Barcelona, one of the most interesting cities in Europe, a very unique Spanish cultural destination. Scanning the skyline from up here, we can't help but be drawn to one building that stands above all others. It's called the Sagrada Familia, which means Church of the Holy Family. Construction began in 1882, well over a hundred years ago. Yet as you can see, it's still not finished. It was designed by one of Barcelona's favorite sons, Anthony Gaudi. Gaudi was one of a group of architects who transformed Barcelona with their surreal modernista style. The Sagrada Familia, although unfinished, still holds masses. It will eventually accommodate 8,000 worshippers. Three sides of the church, called facades, chronicle Christ's life, death, and resurrection with sculptures. Gaudi worked on the construction of his vision for 43 years until his death in 1926. It was only 20% finished at that time. The Sagrada Familia is located in the elegant Echample section of Barcelona, the last neighborhood we'll explore today. A stroll through the area will give us a chance to see more of Gaudi's playful creativity. The apartment block is called La Pedrera, also known as Casamila. The building defies description and has no straight lines, only curves. Remarkably, it was built more than a hundred years ago, back in 1912. Up on the rooftop, these swirling chimneys remind us of stormtroopers. Close by is an even more remarkable building called Casa Batio. It too was designed by Gaudi back in 1904. This building looks like something you would see in a Dr. Seuss book. Gaudi also designed a colorful park overlooking the city called Park Whale. The inviting curvy benches and spectacular terrace offer sweeping views of Barcelona from up high. Great food, brilliant beaches, beautiful boulevards, unique art and architecture. They all come together here in Barcelona to create the unique culture and city that we see now. We hope you enjoyed our visit to Barcelona and gained an appreciation for this incredible destination. Adios!